everybody, we're back here for more Let's Play. I would say Conquer Bad for a day, but <laughs> yeah, I just messed up. Uh, is the last episode of the Wind Waker. On the last episode, we take care of one more line. One more submarine, I guess, and yeah, stuff like that. So, let's start it. Hoi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I have here. You want information about the shark? Mm hmm. I know I read totally wrong, but well, I don't care that much right now. Let's see. The Seven Star Isle. There's another one I remember. I don't read there. If you see seagulls flying around some sea waters, that sight that you need to be aware, right? Because seagulls flock to whatever, whatever big octopus appear. Big octopus! I tell ya, <laughs> those things don't mess around. And that's the, all the info I have to offer. And actually, there's a big octopus on those waters. I just have to find it. Uh, there's no. No, there's not the the sea, flock of seagull I'm looking for. Oh damn it! There's two guys here. I have to shoot them down. One, two, and three. There's another behind me. Holy damn it! Damn it! Get away from me! And as you can see, two that mess make appear the the health of the enemies, which is kind of good for me at least. So I take a little bit from the volume just for it don't be ailing. Well, oh well. And as you can see, his life go there. Oh man, I can't even speak today. What's happened with me? Oh, I'm back to normal. The Okay, so let's go up here and try looking for the treasure shard. The treasure, just for the treasure, not the treasure shard. Okay, I'm hit the sea floor. Let's see if it can find me on the sea shard. Dude, I'm on the side of it, come on! Okay, supposed to be on that direction, let's go a little bit further. And yeah, we take it. I would be totally messed up if, <laughs> if we don't get that, I don't know. I don't know what's go going to be uh, in plan to get the other piece of herd with uh, the big octopus because this is the big octopus with a piece of herd. And there's a tra Triforce shard actually, so it's pretty good actually. And to start collecting two shards, let me show it to you. So as you can see, there's the pairs and here it start to building our courage triforce yeah because it's basically that that I think so I'll be looking for the flock of seagulls then I go for the the platforms over there so see you then guys so yeah we take it guys a new fight with a big octopus Oh yeah, with the boomerang is better, believe me. For tools I'm not using my way of gameplay. You know, you can use 12 bombs to defeat them, but... Yeah, I go for the... A little bit longer way, but... With a better target stuff. Yeah. Because it can hit more than one eye and pretty much kill them faster. Because you even don't know where the boomerang going to hit it. Okay, I guess one more spin and we get done here. Oh, there's an interesting look, huh? Damn it! Get him! Woo-ha! 
So sorry about the big fighting for why I just concentrate a little bit. And yeah. So one more piece of hurt for us guys left like 6, 12, 18. <laughs> yeah, I left 18 pieces of hurt for us to grab. And they just pass. It is awesome. Okay, I have my grappling hook on. And yeah, I know it's a piece of hurt because there's 12 eyes on him, so it's basically that. When I have 12 eyes, it's a piece of hurt. It's going to be um, the rupee prices, and the other one left with 4 eyes is forget the double gouge of mana. It is kind of weird for me to get the last eyes for the double gouge of mana. Oh well. Because the big octopus who has the four eyes actually is a great fairy. So yeah. And after you defeat the big octopus there is no one around. There is no water around. So yeah. I, I guess I kill all of them. So if I don't grab his figurine I'll be screwed. But yeah. I don't save yet. So I have a chance to check out there and then. Uh, yeah, do whatever I have to do. Okay, so let's go up here. Uh -huh. Just for the sake of going there. <laughs> oh well. So there's three platforms pretty close to each other here. And there's Weezy Hobbs here, each I love so much at the bottom of my heart. Oh man. <laughs> Well, one goes down, I guess there's... Yeah, there's one of the treasures, the other going to appear on the other platforms. There's no good, good item here around. I'm going to throw back there, aren't you? Trick conceded. Go for that platform over here. Wait a minute. There was something on the water. I did send something on the water. Okay, left the last one. Oh, are two of them. So I take one. Damn it! Pretty much, if you survive the cave of all. And uh, the Savage Cave, you can survive for them. Okay, just jump there. Whoa, I must felt. Die! Whoa, I must get burned in there, huh? 20 rupees. That's the first prize. Let's see what it got for the orders. Ooh, there's a big chest over there, huh? I don't know, I feel the chest a little bit bigger than the orders. Might be a uh, bigger rupee or <laughs> yeah, more a gold feather actually. Pretty cool. We don't finish yet the things of the gold feathers. And let's go for the next one over there. And I do have it the it's probably one treasure shard, I believe. Yeah, it's a treasure shard. So, Firecon left 18 pieces of herds and 3 sea shards. It's actually one because the other two are actually from the... And let's see here. The other two is there from the Triforce shard, so... It's not a big deal. Okay, here as you can see, just left one. It is the 25. As you can see over here. The number 25 is the last one. And I would believe I get all the C shards. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of annoying to get and you know you never know if you're gonna grab all but yeah left just one I feel pretty proud I feel pretty proud of, of myself you know I got a better English I did an awesome LP here even that part is being so annoying so the thing now is we're going to skip all the way to the bottom but first I have to do something on the on the Dragon Hoof Islands over there. So see you there, guys. Actually, I will have to go on the way because there's platforms and some treasure shirts you have to take care of. Okay, looks very simple here. Just a sneak at the island to the Ritos don't go on us and try kill us. <laughs> what am I saying? Ritos are friend. They gave us the first pearl. Oh, peril. Ah, uh, my tongue just to whistle a little bit. Okay, uh. let's go up here. And I really get excited by the sky arch, so weird, you know. It's just so weird. Okay, there's Kamali here. We take the Kamali's picture already? Link! My flower. I am the wind. I join me Lee's face. And when she's Santi's flower. I really want you, Santa. Okay, so there's Kamali. I don't know if I took his picture, so I might as well take it. <laughs> so go up here. Very simple. Aim on him. There's a long time to lose the camera, so it's gonna be awkward. I guess on this way is okay. Hopefully, hopefully the curl of going to accept that. If I don't have Kamali's photo yet. So with that, just left more four pictures for us. Yeah, left more four pictures for... No, like five. Yeah, five. Left five pictures for us. For our journey be complete on the figurines. So I'll get the gold feathers and point to him. Hey, does... What my girlfriend wants is golden feather. So uh, how many of tools you have? So you're really going to let me have 20 of tools? Sure. Really? Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to stick that little beauty in a letter and send it off right away. I'm going to tell her all about you too. I'm so happy. Serious. It's not much, but please accept the tease. 100 rupees for 20 gold feathers. We we'll probably get more with the on the beetle shop, but yeah. At least we did uh, Rito more happy about his own life, so I really don't care. I gave up for 100 rupees, even though I, I get on disadvantage here. Oh, wait a minute, my voice is getting on there. What? Let's see what he got. We got twenty hundred rupees. Twenty hundred rupees. Oh man, it'd be awesome if you take it like that. Ah! Damn it! You stupid feather thing. Going to kill you and stop. Dang it, Dominique. I'm not supposed to be so mean with her. Ah, well. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.